Hello everybody, this is Scope, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. In the last episode, we defeated Gary and became the undisputed Pokemon League champions. So, what else is there, you may ask? Well, traveling here in Cerulean City before, you may have noticed that cave. There was a guy blocking it before, but now that we're the Pokemon champion, we and only us, or we and only we, have access to it. There we go. Um, I don't know, I don't think Gary was champ long enough to go and explore it, but, uh... I guess that's good because then whatever's in there would be his and not Awa's. So to get here you actually have to come here over to this little part of this route and use not dig, but surf. There we go. Alright, and now we're going to go to items and we are going to use our Mox Repel. Bam. We're also going to switch Shellshock out front because he's our highest level. Sweet. You know, just to block those wild noobs. Anyway, so this place we are going to be entering is actually the final area we're going to be doing. This is the last thing there is to do, believe it or not. And this is one hell of a dungeon, let me tell you. So this place is known as the Unknown Dungeon. So I guess it's not known. Um, pretty much this place houses the strongest Pokemon in the game. Um, all you need to get through here is Surf and some Sanity because you're going to be losing a lot of that here. Um, pretty much it's a one-way trip. There are paths that branch off that you can get certain items with. Or that you can get certain items on. And all the items in here, they're pretty good. You get Ultra Balls, Max Repels, or, um, Ultra Balls, Max Revives, and, uh, Rare Candies. All of which are irrelevant at this point in the game, because we are now the champions. But, um, if you want to go for them, go for them. That path branches off into an item. But it's not like there's any TMs in here or anything. It's not like they'd make you beat the game and then get TMs, you know. So yeah, the Pokemon in here, there are a lot of really good Pokemon. There are actually better ones in Red and Blue. In Red and Blue, you can find, like, Raichus and stuff in here. Um, but you can find Dittos in here and stuff like that. And they're crazy levels. 50s, 60s. It's ridiculous. But higher than some of the Elite Forest Pokemon. Okay, so which path we want to go down here, I don't remember. I believe it's this way. So we are now on the second floor. Um, the first floor and the second floor we're going to be hopping back and forth on for a while. Uh, the second floor is actually kind of just a maze of rocks, like you see now, that's the whole floor. And the first floor is pretty simple, and then there's the basement level, which you can only get there. There's only one ladder there, and once you get there, you're there, there's no more jumping back and forth. Alright, so now we got Golbat. These battles are going to be annoying, so from here on out, I might be cutting them out. Maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. I believe that path up... Oh, okay, like I was saying, that path up there, I believe that leads to an item. I think you want to go down around here maybe here too. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, level 52? I thought it was level 55. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to show this. Um, I ran into a wild ride on level 60, so I just decided to kill him because I can. Shellshock grew level 52, and now he's learning Hydro Pump. Sweet. I, did, I totally thought I was going to have to skip this in this LP. All right, well, let's get rid of Skull Bash. That's crap. Sweet. That is so awesome. I mean, I'm not going to be able to really use it, but oh well. Well, that's cool. All right, yes. Yeah, so, oh, my God. Random Battle City. Okay, well, I'm going to show this battle, too, because I want to show you guys Hydro Pump. I mean, you're not going to notice the difference, because Surf would kill this guy anyway, but Hydro Pump looks cool. I mean, you've already seen it, but it's kind of cool to see it from Shellshock. It's his strongest move, so why the hell not? Oh, yeah, you just got pwned right on. Pwned up the ass. Yeah. Yeah, see, it's definitely a good place to come in here and get experience if that's the kind of thing you want to do, you know? So I believe to the left there is the item. So we're going to want to surf, actually. So let's do it to it, Cap'n. Oh, shit. That's the way to the item. Well, that's tricky. That is devious. There's another item right there, too. But we want to get in that ladder, and we want to get on it now. No! <sighs> oh, Gloom, you can go die in a hole. Okay, we're back on the second floor now. We're gonna try to traverse through here without too much trouble. 
Oh, there's Ditto, level 60, holy crap. Yeah, he's very rare. If you want to find him, come here. Okay, you know what I just decided? I am not going to cut out the battles anymore because that's just too tedious, so I'm going to talk through it regardless of how long it takes. I believe that upper path leads to the item, but oh well. I want to fast forward to get through these battles. Uh, once again, this dungeon isn't hard or anything. The only issue with it is it's tedious like all the other dungeons because... Oh yeah, see that leads to the item over there. Uh, because of the random freaking battles, you know? That's the only problem. The only problem. And if your Pokemon are kinda low leveled, like, you know, maybe 40s, uh, you might have trouble running away from these guys. So then, they start killing you, and oh, are you shitting me, dude? Crikey, leave me alone, ditto, I'll kill you next time I see you. I will. I should totally fight him because all he knows is transform and then I can see how my Pokemon look from the front sprites. I mean, we've already seen it, but it'd be cool to see it again. Oh, one step before the ladder. I knew you were going to do that game. I knew it, you asshole. Alright, Golbat. Golbez. You're going to die, but not really. I'm just going to run. When I was little, I always used to have this theory that um, since I was running from the Pokemon, they weren't dying and I would just keep running into them, but I thought if I killed them, they would die so I wouldn't have to fight them again and it would decrease the amount of random battles. Yeah, it never really worked out. But it was a thought, you know. It, it makes sense. I was following logic. I mean, in real life that would make sense, but, you know, of course, I wasn't very understanding of video game logic. Okay, hopefully this is... Okay, thank God. Hell's effect war. It doesn't matter. All these Pokemon are higher level than us anyway, but oh well, might as well use it. We don't have anything else to do. Alright, so we, we took the right way. This leads to the ladder. Good. We're almost kinda, kinda getting done with this place. I believe this is ladder. What is this? We got to ladder A to B to C to D. So this is ladder E we're going to. Uh, each ladder you take is progressively one higher ladder. Um, so we've only got to find one more ladder on this place, and then on the upper floor we need to find one more ladder as well, and then that will take us to the basement. I believe, but I could be wrong. Oh, Golbat, you know, whatever. Well, a lot of Pokemon I normally would have had a great chance to get along with, but the Pokemon that appear so much in random battle... Wait, what is this? I didn't expect the ladder to be that close, but okay. A lot of Pokemon that appear a lot in the grass, like Pidgeys, Rattatas, Golbats, Zubats, I've come to hate them just because they're so annoying to fight in random battles. Okay, cool, we're here. So we take this ladder, which should be G, and boom, we're on the basement floor. Yes, there are still random battles here, but <clears throat> the good news is all we have to do is navigate through this floor and we're done. And what awaits us at the end? Who knows? But anyway, on this final floor here, it's a rare encounter in Pokemon Yellow, but you can find Chanseys, which you can also find in the Safari Zone, but it's the, one of the rarest Pokemon in the game, so if you see that person just or Pokemon, just catch it. Because, you know, it's effing rare. Why else wouldn't you want it? Come on, man. And trade it to your friend. I remember back in the day when trading was cool. You'd actually get the link cable, link your Game Boys up, and trade. And you'd be like, dude, let me get your Mew. Come on, man. Oh my god, I want Mew so bad. And they'd be like, no, man, you gotta give me like 10 of your level 100 Pokemon. And that's back when the rare candying was cool. You'd rare candy all your Pokemon up to level 100. And then everybody's like, ooh, you're so cool. But, in actuality, you weren't, because your Pokemon have weak stats because of that. Alright, so we're going to surf. Going to the left here will result in items, obviously, so we're going to head right. And we are actually just about at the end. We've only got to surf one more time. And we're there. We're at our destination. Which, what is the destination, you ask? Well, once again, I've already told you. I have no idea. I'm as blind as you are in this, guys. Blind as you. Alright another item up there. I believe that's the last item of the dungeon. And then going down here, I mean, we're in the bottom corner. Let's do it. Ditto, leave me alone. I'm sick of your antics. Thank you. Oh. Oh, I was like, what the hell is going on? And, oh, damn it. You gotta ruin the epic mo- Oh, see? Well, there you go. That's Chansey. I'm actually surprised that it came here. You can come here looking for Chansey and won't find one, but there you go. So, if, catch it if you want. Alright, so as you can see right there, there's a Pokemon right there, and it's, uh, you know, 
actually standing there, kind of like Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres did, the legendary birds. So, it's got to be a Pokemon of some importance, and if you can't get here till after the League Champion, becoming the League Champion, and having to go through all these trials to get it, it must be a really good Pokemon, right? Well, let's see. No! Did you just really do that? Did you really just do that? Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy balls. What did you just do? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna meet you guys back at <laughs> where I was. Holy crap. God, are you... <sighs> Jesus. How stupid can you be? This is the last episode. How could you F it up that bad, man? Jesus Christ. You were supposed to hit Surf. You were supposed to hit Surf. Okay, guys, we are finally back. Oh my god, that was the worst thing I've ever had to do in my life. Whew, thank god. Okay, anyway, that leads me to my main complaint about this game. Uh, well, one of my main complaints, you can't freaking just click on the water and surf. Because, now that you have to go in the menu and do that, you're liable to hit dig and freaking have to go through the whole dungeon again. So, oh my god, that was hell getting back here. I recommend having a Pokemon like level 60 or above and using repels to the max. Anyway, doesn't matter if we are here now. Oh, are you kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me? One step before the dude. God, what a freaking suspense killer. Alright, so here we are next to this guy. We are doing stuff. I'm gonna switch Shellshock out of the front. Yeah, he got hurt a little because I got pissed at the Golbats and started killing him. Anyway, might as well switch Denzi out front for epicness and... Let's just do it. Let's just talk to this guy. Mew? Mew? Impossible. That doesn't sound like Mew. Whoa. That's right, baby. It's wild Mew 2 appeared. Level 70. And that, my friends, is the highest Pokemon in the game. Wild or none. Level 70 Mew 2. So that's right. You come to the end of this unknown dungeon and you get to fight Mew 2 the strongest Pokemon in this generation, period. Its stats are phenomenal. Um, it's Psychic type, pretty much the strongest type in the game, and it's level 70. Now, pretty much this is it. This is the pinnacle of the game right here. Uh, this sprite, I don't really like it. It doesn't really do it justice. Um, its sprite looks a lot cooler, even in red and blue, because this one, he kind of looks like he's pelvically thrusting forward. I don't know. But anyway, um, if you used your Master Ball, you're going to have a hell of a time catching this guy. Just just try to have flashbacks. Remember back when we fought Zapdos? It was going to be 20 times harder. Because he is level 70, has an even lower catch rate, and he will kill all of your Pokemon. His Psychic, he has... Okay, here are his moves. He has Recover, so whenever you do big damage to him, he can just recover it back. Almost half of his HP just like that. And that's annoying as hell. He also has Psychic... Um, which is uber powerful, can pretty much one hit any of your Pokemon unless you have another psychic type. And he also has, I believe he has uh, amnesia to raise his stats even more than they already are. And then I think he has some other bullcrap move like reflect or something like that. I don't know. Haze, something. So anyway, if you have to do it the old fashioned way, your best bet, in my opinion, is to use uh, either Ice Beam or Blizzard and try to freeze this guy because if you freeze him, there's no way he can recover from that and become unfrozen unless you use Haze or a fire type move on them. him. In that case, those moves will unfreeze him. So try to freeze him and then just whittle down his health, but do not kill him, obviously, and then capture him or start lugging Ultra Balls, but you're going to need to bring a lot. Luckily, we don't have to deal with that because that would take two or three episodes just to do that. So we're just going to do this. Master Ball never fails. And I highly recommend just saving your Master Ball for this, because this is the hardest thing to do in the game by far. Harder than Gary, harder than Legendary Birds, harder than anything. Unless, of course, you have the Master Ball. Alright, Mewtwo was caught. And with this Pokemon, you can go back through the Elite Four and destroy everything. This guy is just, he's crazy good. It's that crazy. So Mewtwo, genetic type. His height is 6 feet 7 inches, 269 pounds. Its DNA is almost the same as Mew's, however, its size and disposition are vastly different. No, we're not going to nickname Mewtwo. So pretty much Mewtwo was um, an experimental clone. They tried to clone Mew out of uh, Mew's data back in the Pokemon Mansion on Cinnabar Island. 
and this is what came of it, but Mewtwo was hostile and destroyed the Pokemon Mansion, leaving it in the uh, shape it is now. And I guess he escaped and made his home here in the Unknown Dungeon. And uh, I guess they sealed it off because it was the Pokemon in there were too powerful, along with Mewtwo. And uh, only champions were thought strong enough to enter. So yeah, anyways, that's that. Um, I do want to show, I guess I'll show you Mewtwo. And after that, that's pretty much it. This is looks like this is the finale, the last episode. There's nothing else I can really do. Um, I don't have any ideas for bonus episodes. Um, if you guys have ideas, you can leave them in the comments. Feel free. And uh, I'll think about it. If it's something small, you know, kind of minuscule, I'm not going to record a whole other episode for that. But if, you know, it's a generally good idea, then we'll see. Anyways, let's deposit Zor. Sure, why not? Doesn't matter. And let's withdraw Mewtwo. And there's all our other Pokemon. Zapdos, Moltres, Aerodactyl, cool stuff. All right. And this is Mewtwo, level 70, 238 HP, Psychic type, and look at those stats, 175 attack, 143 defense, 194 speed, and 241 special, holy crap, <gasps> yeah. Anyway, he, the move, oh, okay, he knows Swift, which um, is good because that couldn't hit anybody, hit a person no matter what, it's 100% accuracy, Psychic, Barrier, which is kind of crap, and Recover. But yeah, so that guy is a beast, but once he's on your team, you are set forever. So anyways, it looks like that's all there is to do in Pokemon Yellow. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, this was definitely a fun LP. Uh, there's no more credits to go through, so I guess this is going to be the last episode. Um, so this concludes Pokemon Yellow, which was my 2,000 subscriber LP. And I'm a little bit past 2,000 now. We're at like 26-something, 27. 100 subscribers almost so cool um yeah i had a lot of fun with this lp it was one of the best games i've played as a child so it's always awesome to relive those memories anyway kind of short lp but that's okay um so the next lp as you guys already know is going to be shadow of the colossus and now that i finished pokemon yellow i can focus on Mega Man for a little while until february comes around and then we'll start shadow of the colossus which is also a semi short lp but uh it's very epic and uh, each episode is going to be jam-packed with awesomeness. Um, as for the next Pokemon LP, which is I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking, um, I already said this in the comments somewhere, but Pokemon Black and White I don't really plan to do because of all the copyright issues going on with that, and I don't want to have that on my account or on my record. But uh, if it calms down later, we'll see. Maybe we can do that one day. Um, but as for now, I don't have any plans to do another Pokemon LP. I mean... I've only done, like, what, four LPs total, and two of them have been Pokemon ones, both completed, so there you go. Anyways, once again, thank you guys for watching. Um, awesome LP, had a lot of fun with it, sad to see it go, as always, but uh, we'll be seeing a lot more Pokemon here in the future, so no need to be too sad. Anyways, I'll see you guys on my next LP, Shadow of the Colossus, and, of course, in Mega Man Battle Network. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for subscribing and watching and putting up with all my crap, okay? See you guys later.